So, uh, this is a, a great pleasure to be here uh, this year. Uh, I think I heard uh, Monte saying a little bit earlier that uh, Trinetics was launched here and Axiomedics is now being launched here. So I'm, I'm pleased to hear, come here and tell you a bit about the company. It's an outgrowth of uh, actually the effort to merge the Transmark Foundation and the ITB2 Foundation, which has been based on the vision of, of integrating clinical and translational research. And I, I see by all the faces here and all the talks we've had today that, that we're actually being very successful and the vision that the foundation has had is, is coming through. And it's, uh, it's very, very satisfying to be a part of that. Uh, as we were, were merging the ITB2 Foundation and Transmark Foundation, what we realized is that the success of open source relies not just upon a vibrant community and contributors and, and, uh, uh, and have others working together and using platforms, but it also relies upon um, commercial support for those platforms. Uh, many of you might be familiar with uh, Hadoop, uh, one of the more famous Apache Foundation projects, and uh, a series of companies, including Cloudera, Hortonworks, and MapR, that were spawned out of the Hadoop project to provide uh, commercial support for those platforms, and in fact, they become the major platforms for doing data science today. And what Axiomedics is, is in essence, the, the cloud era for precision medicine and for the platforms uh, coming out of the ITB2 Transmart Foundation. So the, the key vision we have is we're, we're fully committed to the uh, open source concept and open source communities. Um, I've spent six years working in nonprofits doing open source and open science. Uh, and we, we believe in an integrative uh, health data infrastructure. Uh, I think Paul showed us a bit earlier about how we can take uh, data from many different sets of instances uh, across different hospital systems and do queries and analysis using this integrative data. And we fully believe in that vision. Uh, we also believe in an ecosystem where scientists, and, and not just scientists, but scientists and physicians, I was thinking a bit about what John Halamka was talking about, um, being able to have not just scientists analyzing data, but having that impact and inform uh, physicians treating patients. And in fact, taking that one step further is patients actually being able to access and utilize their own data. I think the concept of being able to search for patients like me, uh, not to quote another company in this space, um, but looking for patients that are similar by phenotype and understanding how they're treated, uh, what their outcomes are like, et cetera, is a data intensive, data powered effort. And the more data we have available, the better decisions we can make. So we fully believe in an ecosystem where scientists, uh, physicians, and patients can access and utilize these data. And finally, um, Eric, I think, made a, a couple of great points, which is in today's environment, the concepts of privacy and security are paramount. And everyone out here trying to implement their own privacy and security uh, infrastructures and maintain and support those and update those with all the software that needs to be updated on a regular basis with all your security patches becomes you know, quite a burden. And having a cloud-based system allows us to do that and take care of that in an automated way uh, really facilitates having the right kinds of privacy and security in an easily supported and maintained kind of way. And so that's a key thing that we believe as well. The problem as we see it is, is the iceberg problem. When we look at using all these data and all the kinds of nice analyses that people have shown us, that's the tip of the iceberg. That's the visible part above the water. And the challenge is, is it takes an immense infrastructure to make that happen. Uh, you have large IT groups, groups of developers, um, data uh, people doing data loading, data entry, et cetera. Uh, and these are big challenges. And I think in today's environment, investing in the hardware and the infrastructure and the staff to be able to support that to get to the data analysis is incredibly expensive. And so what our vision is, in fact, is to leverage the cloud, leverage a common environment where we're, we've got the same kind of infrastructure, the same uh, cybersecurity, the same privacy implemented across a set of productized cloud instances is really the way to make this much more uh, accessible and much more implementable. And so what we provide is a cloud hosted infrastructure that provides the security and privacy required, but also enables collaboration. And collaboration in a private sense where you have a group of people unified together with a common set of consented patients with distinct information systems bringing the data to that collaboration so that it can be analyzed privately, uh, but also open and public collaborations, very much like George was talking about with the PGP. You know, where you have public data, like NHANES and others, where you can, you can open that up and you can share it and have a, a common infrastructure for working with those data. 
we're fully committed to open source uh, platforms in this space. We think that open source is, is not just nice to have in terms of, of doing innovation and collaboration, but it's a must have. I think the whole tech world is realizing that by combining our efforts into a single contribution, into a single platform, we can really focus those efforts and we can make innovation happen very quickly. And if we're all taking advantage of that and investing in that, both as a volunteer basis, you know, as well as, as financially, as, as Zach was asking, is that we can bring all this intellectual uh, capability to bear on a single problem and a single platform and a single implementation. And if we can replicate that out, we can serve that to you know, hundreds or thousands of, of places, hospitals, research groups, et cetera, to take advantage of those contributions. That's really the promise of open source. What we think is also important is that as you put these things in place, um, how many people are here from an IT background? Okay, so you know all about things like software validation, compliance, uh, all the key challenges, particularly when it comes to open source, because open source tends often not to have all the testing and validation, et cetera, that commercial platforms might have. And so having a commercial support infrastructure that can support, maintain, validate, uh, not just the software, but the entire solution, uh, we think is really important for making these platforms much more ubiquitous. And the last thing we'll talk about is community participation. Um, what I think is really important in the open source world is that people that are, are working with the platforms participate and contribute to those platforms. And if I go back to the, the Hortonworks, Cloudera, um, Hadoop type model, um, these groups provide full-time developers that volunteer for the Apache Software Foundation that write the core code, competitors working together on the same core code base. Uh, and then they take that code base and add their own secret sauce to it, their own additions and, and customizations. But they commit to having a single roadmap for this. We have the same commitment. In fact, you know, I volunteer for the foundation. I'm a member of the foundation. Uh, Peter Rice, who's here, um, is also a member of the Transmart PMC and the release manager for Transmart. Uh, Rudy, who's part of the company, also volunteers for the foundation. And what we see is a real effort where we can continue to contribute. And part of that contribution is how do we financially support the, the foundation? And one of the things that we do is we have a commitment that we made to the foundation. We have an agreement where for every foundation platform that we support through subscription, we provide a revenue share back to the foundation. We think giving back and being part of the community is the way for the community to succeed. And if the community succeeds, we'll succeed. <clears throat> so what are our offerings? In essence, what we offer are solution subscriptions. We support our main the main focus for our, us is I2B2 Transmart, um, but we fully support all the components of I2B2 Transmart, both I2B2 and Transmart. Uh, we have all three running up on our AWS infrastructure right now. If you're interested, you can contact us. We can give you a demonstration. Uh, so that's one of the key things for us. We also provide support subscriptions. I think one of the challenges of open source is having not just the developer support, but user support, uh, technical support, engineering support for these solutions. And so one of the things that we also provide are support subscriptions where our skilled experts and engineers will be on call and work with you to solve your problems uh, as you go through installation and using the platform. That's whether you're on-premise or in cloud. Obviously, we prefer on cloud, but we can do provide support subscriptions for on-premise as well. In terms of services, um, our business model is to work with you to specify uh, and design an implementation, go through the process we need to deploy the implementation through data loading, data curation, the kinds of things that need, need to be done there. And then once that solution is in place, an ongoing subscription for support and maintenance. That includes you know, full user support, training, et cetera, as you'd expect from any commercial software vendor, um, but also upgrades to the infrastructure as required through software patches, uh, through cybersecurity alerts, et cetera. And then finally, I think one of the challenges we all have is having the right um, analytics behind them. So do we have the, the people with the expertise, the data scientists that can do the kinds of analysis that we need to do. And so we also have data scientists on call that can work on projects on a per project basis or even ad hoc. This is the, the essence of the platform. The other thing in terms of giving back to the community is we want to not just give back and, and work with the community, we want to be a part of the community. And so what I'm announcing today is that <laughs> we have the Axiomatic support portal uh, that we have uh, invest in the development of. It's uh, a commercial uh, quality platform Form that is free and open. And what we've done is unify all of the infrastructure for I2B2, for Transmart, and for I2B2 Transmart. You can access demos, 
community discussions. Uh, there's a support knowledge space in there, um, et cetera. So if you're looking for support, there's one place to go. In fact, you can access us directly from uh, the Axiomedics website, which is axiomedics.com. So with that, I think I'll turn it back over, but uh, we're very pleased to be a part of the community and, and pleased to be working with you. And if you have any questions, uh, please see me or you can see Kendra or Peter uh, or Rudy who also work with us. Thanks.